What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today, summertime fishing in the heat. We are south of the border in Mexico and we catch 85 fish in less than two and a half hours. We catch over 60 in one spot. If you guys enjoy catching them on crankbaits and swimbaits, you're gonna wanna check out this footage. Today I'm taking you guys to Lake Picachos in Mexico. I'm fishing with my good buddy, Bill Carson. Now Bill and I, we always have a great time when we fish together and today was no different. Our guide spoke good enough English that we kind of told him where we wanted to fish and the types of baits that we wanted to fish. So once we picked our first spot, we made a run. Soon as we got to the back of this cove, I could see shad jumping and bass blowing up. I quickly realized that it was a shad lake and not necessarily just a tilapia lake. First bait we picked up was a square bill. Two reasons, you can cover a lot of water, find those aggressive schools, and it deflects very easily off a structure. As you can see in the footage, there's a lot of trees, a lot of timber in the water. A square bill, you can still fish it aggressively, you can fish it quickly through that stuff. When you travel to Mexico, you have weight restrictions for your luggage. You can't bring your entire boat or your entire garage, so you can't go through a lot of baits because you'll end up with nothing. What you're about to see is Bill and I having the time of our lives. We found the mega school. Now, we caught 18 up until we got to this point. We found a real steep point that was the steepest point just before that back cove where they had all that bait pushed. Once we got there, we caught 67 fish without moving with crankbaits and swimbaits. Now, even though this is Mexico, our guide of six or seven years has never seen this many fish act this aggressive and be this crazy. Oh, did you see that bait come out of the water? I'm gonna show you some of our highlight catches from this epic day. I put every catch on the timeline and the video was over 51 minutes long of just plain, pure fish catches. Obviously that's too long for you guys to tune in, so I'm gonna cut it down and show you guys some of the highlights. Look at the ones chasing it. Dude, you see all the Those ones chasing it? Those were big ones. Those were big ones following it. Oh. I, I got it. I'm like, why didn't they touch me? <laughs> Those were big ones. Yes. I mean, you know, compared to the big ones. Four plus pounders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're when they're behind me. <laughs> Probably. I feel like I'm gonna catch two. Oh, Look at you, you. Oh, right here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you see that? <laughs> Oh, 
They're in their finesse fishing. We're gonna go through and blast them on their action. <laughs> What's that? They're in their finesse fishing, worm fishing. Yeah. We're gonna go through and just blast them on reaction baits. Yeah, when they're eating a square ball like this, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> well, we'll see how their day went. Remember, we're in, remember we're in a competition. Oh, dang! What have we caught? Twenty? Fifteen? Oh, it's got big again. Fifteen? Eighteen? Eighteen? <laughs> I wasn't over, see, I wasn't exaggerating. Does that include the ones that got off here or just the ones you touched? You gotta go in the boat. You can't touch the boat though, that's against the rules with MLF. Up until this point, we've caught 18 fish on the clicker in about a half an hour. Now it is about to get epic. Right on the bank. I saw that fish hit my bank. Like, you know the first two, three cranks you get, yeah. you see it diving away? The way this point lays out, you can see there's a sheer side to it, a little deeper side. That's where the majority of the fish had the shad pinned. Off to the right, you'll see it kind of flattens out and there's some flooded timber. And out behind us, there's some flooded trees as well. The depth was about 12 to 14 feet. I think the bigger fish were down closer to the bottom. I just didn't have the right tackle to really pick that apart. I didn't want to slow down and worm fish. And I didn't want to deep crank fish because if I got hung up, I ended up breaking those baits off without a lure retriever. As you can see, the fish were very aggressive and just slashing at the bait. They're chasing shad all over this point. A lot of times I would only have one hook point in the fish. That's why it is very important for you guys to upgrade your hooks. Get there. Get a 60 on this point. Oh, oh you see that? Look at that. Wait, wait. You see that bass? Watch this. Are you that one? No. <laughs> that worked. That worked. <laughs> Dude, this might be the same one you caught earlier. <laughs> eh, maybe not, but it looks similar. Right, I'm very That's Have you seen that before? Yeah. Have you seen that happen before? <laughs> 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 Got him. <laughs> See that? Swim bait? No, I backlashed. It dropped my bait right there on the top. I picked my I was picking up my backlash and it blew up on my bait, my crankbait. I saw him come and hit it's a nice one too. Oh. I saw him come and hit it's a nice one too. Oh. Close the bow. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to quit. Just try your swim bait. That'll work too. Okay,
Well, I just saw a bass go all the way over a tree over there. Did you see that? <laughs> see that tree floating on the water way out there? I just saw a bass jump over it. That was crazy. You can't make that stuff up. Two casts, I'm not going to screw it up. Nothing? No. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to go throw the swim bait and see if it's okay. You catch one more and I'm going to stick it through that and go right back to the square bill. <laughs> Damned if I'm going to let you beat me. Uh, who cares? <laughs> the baits we're throwing right now are silent, so Let's see if that makes a difference. There's some killing going on right now. We should get a good one in here. Oh, you had a double. I had a double. <laughs> How do you do that on the swim bait? I think it was trying to eat it out of its mouth. That was crazy. I don't even know how that's possible. It had to hold the tail of the swim bait. <laughs> Got me too. <laughs> Did the bait come get you? Yeah. You that was sick. You hooked two bass and a angler in one cast. <laughs> yeah, it's on right here. That's my hat. Uh negative. Cross this though. No 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 no. Doubles. Yeah. Four and five doubles. Oh. <laughs> that was awesome. I saw the leader. I saw the leader. Did you see? It? Heavy at the end.
big brother and the little brother. <laughs> He caught it. He got it. Uh, not right, not right now. Just a little bit. Almost like I'll go fish. Look oh, at that dude with him. Oh, he bit him in the tail. Watch this, watch this, watch. <laughs> How many now? 76. <laughs> we came here with 18. Hey, this is only half of a trip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is strong. I found this in the van. Nice. All right, Bill. So how many fish did we catch in the last, what, two and a half hours? 85 fish. 85 fish. We came to this point right here with 18 on the clicker. 18 on the clicker. We caught the remainder of the fish right here. Just goes to show what happens when you can get a big school of bass fired up. They will eat just about anything. We caught them on. Bill went to work with the swim bait, little 4.8. I think that's the Rage Swimmer. I got them on a square bill. You did too, and uh, also a swim baits. How insane was some of that footage? You know, I saw things that day that I haven't seen on the water before. I saw bigger bass trying to eat smaller bass that weren't even necessarily small. They were like two pounds. I saw one bass had the entire bass's tail in its mouth and was following it. We had doubles. Bill actually for a little bit had a double on a on a rage swimmer, a single tail, a single hook swim bait. He had two fish on. I don't even know how that's possible. These fish were so aggressive and it was so much fun. A few things to take away. 
the square bill and the swim bait were the two main baits, obviously. But we tried other baits. I tried top water, he tried lipless cranks, I tried a swim jig, and they just wouldn't eat it. Any bait that had sound or rattle, they wouldn't eat. How crazy is that? I never thought that fish that fired up, that literally you could drop to off the bow of the boat and catch, would not eat a rattle bait or a bait with a skirt. Hooks. As you can see, a lot of those fish ate on the second or third bite. You know, I'd be reeling, pause, bite, come off, bite, load up. You have to change out your hooks. Just like every video, I'll link all this product down below in the video description I'm talking about. But these are owner crankbait hooks. They actually have a 150 degree angle on the back of them. I really feel like I got more fish to the boat because I upgraded the hooks. Also, burn, 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 pause. Burn, 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 pause. A lot of times, most times, those bites came on that pause. Again, we're fishing deep water with a square bill. I wasn't down there grinding. This bait was running mid column and getting those fish to come up. A lot of the bites came right next to the boat. So burn, 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 pause. I'm trying to get this bait to mimic or look like a frantic shad. You guys saw some of the blow ups. You saw those shad jumping out of the water. As soon as they land, those bass would eat it. I'm telling you guys, Bill and I had a blast. The fishing was epic. We had some good fish. We had fish over five pounds and a lot of fish. We literally caught 85 fish in less than two and a half hours. Freddie, our guide, was back there with a clicker and he didn't count a single fish that didn't make it to the boat. We had a blast. We kept those fish fired up. You know, when you have a mega school like that, if you have two people that keep catching fish, it just helps. You know, when I hook a fish and I'm dealing with fighting that fish or or I need pliers to get the hooks out of its mouth. Bill's over there casting, catching another fish, keeping that, that school fired up. That is very important if you're fishing solo to get that fish released and get back out there to keep that fish firing. Because if you don't, they will turn off and you'll never know they were there. All it takes is one bite, get those fish fired up, and you can have a day like that. If you guys like this video or learned something from it, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel. We do three videos a week for you. As always, guys, we appreciate you. Have a good one.